What's up guys, Descripting Legend here, right back to a new video. Today I will be showing you how to make a game like Epic Mini Games. So, first things first, go ahead and open up a new base plate. Wait for it to load. Alright, so now we're in here, you can see that if we click on the base plate, nothing happens, which is annoying. So let's go into the workspace, click on the base plate, go down in its properties to locked in, go ahead and uncheck that. Now you can see we can just grab it without having to go to the workspace, see? Alright, let's just scale it down to something like, let's do... 70 comma 1 comma actually let's do 70 comma 4 comma 70 whoa so yeah this let's just change the material to a nice um do do we'll do cobblestone and just make it a little lighter all right now Let's insert a part and let's just scale it, make it cover the the base plate and put it up. Let's make it transparent. Now let's duplicate this part. Okay, now grab both parts by going in your explorer and hit the first part and then shift to select the other part. Hit duplicate and then rotate it. Okay, and then let's do the same thing. Grab all four parts and group them. Rename it to barriers. Barriers. All right. Um, let's now just rename the base plate to La Lobby Base. Alright, and let's grab the barrier and the lobby base and let's group it, rename it to Lobby. And let's actually just make sure it's anchored first of all. Now let's go to the model tab and insert that spawn location. I am going to make it transparent. I am going to remove the decal and I am going to turn can collide off. Okay. All right, so now I'm also just going to go to its properties and put f and go to force field. Put the duration to zero. That way, when you spawn, we don't we won't just have a force field around us. So if we just play this, nothing's much gonna be there. But there will be a start. So as you can see, it just spawn here and. Yeah, that's all we can really do, just spawn. Alright, so now let's make a little intermission GUI. Let's go into starter GUI, insert object, just insert a screen GUI, could rename it to, um, rename it to termission GUI, like that. Alright, and then inside of it, we can just insert a text label insert a text label and just scale it up to how you want I'm going to make it a size of um, 0 point 0 point three no 0 point zero five comma zero comma zero point three comma zero whoops i did that very wrong we'll do zero point um six comma zero yeah that's that's better comma 
0 0.1 comma 0. But yeah. I'm going to make that transparent. I'm going to get rid of the border. And we're going to just customize the text a little bit. Put it to source of sans bold. Text scaled. And we'll just make it say intermission. Okay. Um, we're going to make the text color white and text stroke transparency to zero. So you can see it gives it a nice little outline. Okay. So. Let's rename this to just text and let's insert a local script into it and we'll do or right, but we'll go back to that. First and replicate the storage, insert object, insert a string value, rename this to clock, and put the value to just put it to intermission. We'll just put it to 15. 15. All right. All right. Now in the local script, let's do local clock equals to game dot replicated storage dot clock. All right. So script dot parent dot text is equal to is equal to intermission space um no colon space concatenate clock clock dot value okay so now let's do clock dot changed change colon connect function script dot parent dot text is equal to intermission colon concatenate clock dot value so if we went ahead and play this it should just say intermission colon 15. yep all right yeah, let's just make this look a little better and concatenate it again and just put an exclamation point. Okay. Alright, so now you can just rename this to change to clock value. Okay, and now let's go into server script service and insert a script. Rename to game handler all right so delete print hello world and now let's get into scripting let's do local clock is equal to game dot replicated storage dot clock while then let's do a while true true do and we'll do clock dot value equals to intermission colon 15 and let's put the exclamation point local inter time is equal to 15 then let's do repeat wait one and then let's then we it when we drop a line and it adds in until let's do enter time equals to enter time minus one enter time time minus one clock dot value equals to intermission colon space concatenate inter time dot value then let's 
concatenate again. Oh, I spelled intermission. Intermission. All right. And then the until we'll do inter time dot value equals to zero. Okay. So now let's go back to change to clock value and let's just get rid of the intermission part and the exclamation point. So we'll just have equals to clock dot value. And now if we go ahead and play this, we should have a nice little countdown. As you can see, 15 and it's not changing. Let's see. Um, service service line ten clock dot value equals to enter time dot value. Hmm. Right. Let's just copy enter here. Let's paste it here and here. Hold on. In here, and let's do the same for here. Oh, I know why. It's because we added that dot value. All right, and let's get rid of this dot value too. All right, now this should work. Next, you can see it's counting down, just like we wanted it to. Five, four, three, two, one, and then it restarts. Okay, so just like we wanted it to do for now. Okay, but so now let's just grab the lobby and let's duplicate this. Just down over here, rename this to map one and insert, um, and then let's go to here. Let's change the name of the lobby base to map base. Let's change this to quarter. No, that's ugly. Let's change this to brick. Okay. And let's also just add a part here. Let's um, put it to size to one comma one comma one and let's change our move to four studs just so that like we can move it up here like that all right then let's change it back to what we had it to before let's put anchor to true can't collide to false transparency to one and rename it to spawn one all right inside of our map one we're just gonna insert a model we're going to rename this to player spawns. All right, now drag the spawn one into player spawns. Let's just duplicate it around. And all right, duplicated it, rename it to spawn two, duplicate, rename to spawn three, Duplicate, rename to spawn four, duplicate, rename, spawn five, and duplicate, rename, spawn six. You can add more spawns if you want, but I'm just going to leave it at six. Alright, so now it should look like that. Now into server storage, we are going to insert a folder and we are going to name it to maps. And we're going to drag map1 into the maps folder. So now what we are going, and now you can see we can't see it anymore. Alright, so now what we are going to do is we are going to go back into the script, into the game handler script, and drop a line. We'll do wait one. Then we'll do clock dot value equals to selecting a mini 
game. Actually, before drag your map one back into the workspace, just going to duplicate it, rename it to map two, and I'm just going to change the base um to a to granite, I guess. It's like really red, I guess. Alright, so now take map 1 and map 2 and put them into the maps folder. Alright, so now go back into the game handler script and do selecting a mini game. And then we'll just make it look a little better. Put just three dots here so like it's waiting to select. Alright, and add the weight 3. You can change this wait time to however long you want it to be until you want the the next writing so now let's do local map id wait but before we do that let's actually drop a line in on line one let's do local map folder equals to game dot server storage dot map or we can just do yeah this should work yeah all right so now let's do local map id equals to math dot ran dot random random and then we'll do one comma hashtag Hashtag maps map folder colon get children colon get children okay then drop a line do local map equals to map folder colon find first child colon find first child map concatenate map id okay then we'll do drop down two lines if map then clock that value equals a minigame has been selected clock dot value equals a mini game has been selected okay so that's it for today's video i will be showing you how to make it so that they teleport to one of these random maps in the next video so see you then bye hope you enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye